video, I'll build a bot that can automatically tweet in your Twitter account. The bot will get the tweets from a text file and it will push them automatically into your account in a specific timestamp. To build this bot, we'll use a chat GPT, which is in an artificial intelligence tool that can build and create any code you want. It's very, very smart. You can basically ask it for anything you want and it will generate the code for you. Today, we'll use JavaScript programming language to build this bot, but you can use any other programming language if you know. So let's get started with this video without losing any more time. Okay, here is my Twitter account. And as I said before, we'll tweet different tweets. Also, we'll generate these tweets using ChatGPT so you don't have to write your tweets. We'll post a tweet every five minutes or every two minutes or every hour or every day if we want. So as I said, we'll use JavaScript programming language and Node.js. Let's go ahead and install Node.js. So go to the description of this video. You're going to find a link for to download the Node.js. Here is the website. Just go ahead and download uh, the current version or the LTS. But uh, I recommend you to download the LTS because current may show you any problem. So go ahead and download this version. I've already downloaded and installed it. So to do that, this just go ahead and click and run the MSI for your Windows. Also will work same for Mac. Now we need a code uh, editor or code text editor. So I'll use uh, VS Code. You can use anything you want, but you can go ahead and download VS Code if you want to. First, we are going to create a folder in our desktop. So I'll create a folder here, new folder, and I'll call it a Twitter bot. And now I have to open this folder using uh, the VS Code. So let's go to VS Code, click on open folder and go to desktop and open Twitter bot select folder. And here is our uh, environment. Now you have to open terminal in this window. So you can click on terminal and new terminal here in terminal. What you have to do is to create a new uh, node.js environment or new project. And to do this, just type npm in it, press enter. And here it is going to ask the package name, just press enter version is okay. Description enter. Okay. Index.js enter and press enter until you see. Okay. Now uh, type yes. And it's uh, done. And here in the uh, folders and files, you have to create a new file and call it index.js. And also we are going to create a, a, a file for tweets. So create a new text file, uh, tweets dot txt. Okay, now let's go to chat GPT. And here is the website, you can find the link in the description to go ahead and register on this website. And you can ask it for anything you want. The first thing it, I'll ask it is to, to generate some tweets for me, which I'll use to tweet in my tweet in my Twitter account. So let's type uh, generate 100 tweets about you can ask it to for about anything you want. Uh, but I'll test now just about uh, self improvement, press enter. And now chat GPT will and generate 100 tweets for you. As you can see, it's generating them and I'll wait until it generates uh, 100. Okay, now it stopped at 48, but to continue uh, generating you can type just continue. Okay, now the chat GPT generated 100 tweets for me and I'll use these tweets to put them in my tweets.txt file and let what I have to do is just to copy all of them and I'll go to project and here on tweets, I'll paste them and also we'll get the others. Okay, guys, here I have 100 tweets that I'll use and just save this file with control plus S or uh, go to file and save. Now I can close this tweets.txt and here I'll build the bot. And now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a bot for me. I'm going to ask it uh, build a bot in Node.js that can automatically tweet in my uh, Twitter account every five minutes or every two minutes. It will get the tweets from my tweets.txt file. Okay, now press enter and it will build the code for you. So first it is showing you that to install the tweet library, which will use the, by the code, and then it will show you the code. So let's go ahead and install uh, npm install tweet. So copy this code, click on copy and go to uh, VS code. And here on terminal, what you have to do is just to paste this npm install tweet and press enter. And then it will install this uh, library into your current project. It's installed. So go back to the code and here it will uh, show you the code. So here, what I have to do is to copy it 
and go back again here on index.js to paste the code and we have we have to make some edits here because we will put the our api key and stuff but now uh this looks good so save the file and go back go back to the chat gpt and now it shows you that you have to replace the api keys which i'll do in a second but here is the command to run the bot so node.bot.js or in our case index.js so now let's go ahead to twitter developers website and get our api keys again you can find the link on the description just go to this portal here and register with your twitter account and then what you have to do is just click on create new project put a name and i'll name it a tweet bot tweet bot click on next use case uh making a bot next project description a bot that can automatically tweet uh, click on next here is the app uh, setup just click on next app name so choose a name again tweet bot it doesn't matter okay it's already taken so tweet bot uh, for self improvement okay now it is created and here are the keys and tokens that we need so the first thing is api key just go ahead and copy this api key click on copy and go here on the code so so the customer key is the api key that you have to replace so just make sure to replace it on here delete all of this and put the key go back again and copy the api secret and paste it on the second one go back go to now you have to go to app settings because we need the uh, access tokens so go to app settings go to keys and tokens and here are the access tokens and secret click on generate and here we have api key secret key which we just copied here and now we need the access token copy copy make sure to copy only access token uh, in the code and paste it in the access token and then go to uh, access token secret copy it and paste it in this place so now we have the tokens and secrets so go ahead and save the file control plus s and now everything looks good the code is it should be okay because it's generated by artificial intelligence and now what you have to do is just to run the bot so to run the bot go to terminal and type node uh, index.js okay when i run the code it shows an error read only applications cannot post and this is happening because we didn't give permissions to this bot from the twitter developer portal to access or to tweet or to do more functions so to do this just go ahead to the browser and here on uh, your applications go to settings and scroll down and here on user authentication settings just click on setup and here on setup go to app permissions and make sure to select read and write and direct message select this option go to select one of these web or automated app or bot click on this and here put a, a website that you want to redirect so i'll just type google.com doesn't matter at all and here I'll, I'll also type the same and now you can click save click on save Yes, and now it is uh, generated. And now what you have to do is to put this new uh, API keys into your code. So copy the first one, client ID, and put in the first one. Co copy the client secret, and then uh, click on done. And yes, I saved. Now go to keys and tokens, and you have to click on regenerate access tokens and secrets. So click on regenerate. Yes, regenerate. Copy the access token, paste it on access token, and copy the access token secret and paste it on the access token secret. So now click save and we can uh, change also if you want to change the interval of the tweets you can change it here on set interval so instead of two minutes that I have here you can put one minute if you want and then click on save and here in the code just type uh, mp uh, node index.js Okay, guys, as you can see, it is working now. And the code here, it shows me that it tweeted this uh, tweet and it's tweeting again and again and will continue to tweet this. And you can leave this or bot running into your computer 24 7 and you can tweet automatically on you can or you can host it somewhere online and can tweet automatically for you. So to stop the bot, what you have to do is to to press Control plus C in the terminal and this will stop it. And also if you want to change again the interval, I change it again here and I made 0 0.1 uh, minute or you can change it for it here for uh, two minutes or 25 minutes or uh, 30 minutes or whatever. So just click on save and run the go the bot again and it'll work for you. So to uh, prove that this bot is working, let's go to Twitter in my account and refresh 
and here I have before 20 seconds, 26 seconds, uh, 32 seconds, I have the tweets in tweets and replies. So here I have tweets and if, if you see it's practice gratitude and focus on positive things in your life. And if I run again, node uh, index.js and here is a tweet, be international about your self talk. And if I go and refresh, here is just now. Here's the other one, be international about the self-talk and here's another one. So let's uh, stop this by control plus C and because we don't want this to be very fast, we can do it for about uh, 24 hours or 30 minutes or one hour uh, time delay, but not too fast. So this is what's about for you today. Uh, we created this bot all automatically using chat GPT, which is an automation tool that can do anything for you. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Peace.